Master your transitions. Elevate your public speaking skills. Hello there, future public speaking stars. Today we're going to dive deep into an aspect of public speaking that often gets overlooked, yet is vital to the flow and overall impact of your presentation. Yes, we're talking about rehearsing transitions between sections. Mastering transitions can make the difference between a good presentation and a great one. Transitions in a speech or presentation are like bridges between your ideas. They connect different sections of your speech and guide your audience through the logical flow of your arguments. So, why are they important? Simply put, effective transitions ensure your audience follows along with your ideas, instead of getting lost in a sea of information. Just like in a good story, where each chapter smoothly leads into the next, your speech needs to have a seamless flow from one point to the next. There are various types of transitions you can use in your speeches. Sequential transitions are perfect for when you're outlining steps or a chronological progression of ideas. Words and phrases like, firstly, next, and finally, can be used in these instances. Comparative transitions such as, similarly, likewise, and, on the other hand, can be used when drawing comparisons or contrasts. Causal transitions, like, as a result, or, therefore, are great for showing cause and effect relationships. The key is to choose the right transition for the right moment. Now that we've discussed what transitions are and their types, Let's discuss how to rehearse them effectively. Practice out loud. The first technique is to practice out loud. Reading your speech silently won't give you the feel of how your transitions sound or work in a real world setting. By rehearsing out loud, you get a better sense of the rhythm and pacing of your transitions. Record and review. Next, record your practice sessions and review them. This gives you a chance to listen to your transitions as an audience member would, allowing you to spot any awkward jumps or breaks in your speech. Test transitions with a small audience. Lastly, practice your speech in front of a small audience, such as family members or close friends. They can provide feedback on how well your transitions work and if your speech is easy to follow. Transitions might seem like a small part of your presentation, but they carry a lot of weight. Rehearsing your transitions ensures that your speech is smooth, cohesive, and most importantly, compelling to your audience. Remember to practice out loud, review your recordings, and test your transitions with a small audience. With these techniques at your disposal, you're well on your way to becoming a public speaking star. Thank you for joining us today and remember, practice makes perfect.